All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just to let you know, this is going to be the other assignment for this week. So what we have here is a swivel base. I believe, personally, the hardest part on this drawing is simply getting this arc uh, to connect between this line and this line. But let's uh, take a look at this. So it's first off, it's in millimeters, right? We have a whole bunch of circles. We have about one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight different arcs. Uh, let's tackle this then. Uh, we're going to start from the left side and work our way out. I'm going to start off with the circles. And then after that, we're going to start connecting them, okay? So to begin, one second. All right, so I'm going to start off with my 20... <clears throat> Well, first I'm going to go delete these construction lines, right? All right. So I'm going to go into my object layer. I have my metric master file, okay? Remember, we created that metric master file when we did the rocker on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to circle, center. I'm going to do center diameter. That's what the first circle is calling for. Make sure my snap grid is turned on so I can find that center. Or I can just type in 0, 0. And I'm going to type in 20. So the first circle we're going to start off with is 20 millimeters. After that, it's going to be 30 millimeters, same center. Thirty. Right. Now we're going to get into the arcs now. So we have to switch over to radius. Same center again. The radius is going to be 30. Don't get this confused between the diameter and radius. This diameter is 30. This radius is 30. Okay. Next up, we're going to draw this 10 millimeter circle. It's a millimeter, uh, diameter of 10 millimeters. Then we're going to draw it at 20, uh, 20, da uh, 20 millimeter diameter circle at this end. So for this, we're going to use our points to plot this. So it is on the x axis 48 millimeters away from the origin point that we decided to use. On the y axis, it's going to be zero because it's a straight line across the x axis. So this one's 48. This one's 96, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Circle, center diameter. I'm going to type in 48 on my x axis, and then I'm going to press the tab button and type in 0 on my y axis. Now, this is going to be 10 millimeters. So, after that, we have to create the 20 millimeter diameter circle. I'm going to click circle again. I'm going to type in 96 because that's how far it is away on the x-axis. I'm going to type in 0 on the y-axis. And diameter is going to be 20. Now, I'm going to create the radius circle that's right here. 20 millimeter radius, OK? You have two options. So I'm going to change over to center radius. We can either type it in, or we can hover our mouse over this circle and find the center point. You'd have to turn off your snap grid, though. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 0. I'm sorry, 96. Tab. Press the tab button. 0. Enter, that's going to be a radius of 20. As you can see here, it's starting to come along. Now, to get the lines connecting, that's going to be for the next video.